For Gordon Wood, this is payback time, making his first ever appearance in the witness box in a case which potentially could make him a $20 million man. Previously, he's only ever spoken publicly on TV. So do you think he did it? Wood spent three years in jail until he was freed in 2012 when an appeals court overturned his conviction for murdering girlfriend Caroline Byrne at The Gap in 1995. Today, he told the court he's been on antidepressants since his release. Feeling paranoid and unsafe, police would try and stitch me up again. He choked back tears when recounting the moment he saw Miss Byrne's body in the morgue. I was allowed to hold her hand and say goodbye to Caroline. Some of the millions of dollars Woods is seeking is for loss of income. He told the court he's been unemployable since his arrest in 2006 because of the effects of post-traumatic stress. Years before that, he worked for flamboyant stockbroker Renee Rivkin as his chauffeur and personal assistant, earning between $400,000 and $800,000 a year. Essentially, I was the gateway to Mr Rifkin, he told the court. If they wanted to ring him, they rang him through my phone. He was also asked if he'd gotten over the death of Miss Byrne. He replied, I think so, I hope so. But his sister, Jacqueline Schmidt, said her brother was for years in a state of utter grief and shock and is not the same person. Damien Ryan, Nine News. Nine News, Sydney's number one.